you were just happen to be shooting them leaving the court and you're like, oh, let me grab this. Yeah, you know, and, and then that, that happened, or did you see him touch the center court and was like, no. oh shit, might pop so, off? I wanted to see if the buddy buddy moment would happen, right? You know, let, let's see if, if if he goes to dap up any, anybody, you know, at the end of a of a win. And two things I, I got I recorded that I didn't expect him to do. Yeah, he he ran out there, stomped on the logo, which I didn't think much of it until I, you know, you know, when you're recording, you take a step back, like, wait, wait, did he just do that? And I just kind of kept rolling from there because I wanted to see, obviously, making his way to the tunnel. There were a group of fans waiting for him. Then came the bottle, I guess, is what's being reported. At the time, I couldn't exactly make out what it was, if it was a beer or not. But obviously, it was something that uh, that um, came towards his direction. And he sort of kept it moving. Then he he uh, came right back out of the tunnel, looked up, and security was already all over it. Um, that continued for quite some time. The uh, perpetrator was arrested. And as of right yeah. now, there's still uh, security still in the half circle of now, just trying to just discussing what's going to happen. All right, cool. I'm putting it up, Josue. So here was the video. This is just a water bottle portion. And there's Kyrie, you know. He's not here. Here coming, it's coming. Yeah, it's Bam. Coming. Good aim. I mean, that's not a good thing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and then the guys, the, the guy guys all pretty pumped up, up and fist humping. Yeah. yeah. And then I think he was yeah, like, oh, way, way to point yourself out there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that was just. Yeah. He, he didn't have any enthusiasm when they took him out in the cuffs. But, yeah. Did that guy, did he's that guy he was wearing a listen. basketball jersey, right? Yeah, he had a uni. Oh, I don't know what which jersey. It looked like a Nets jersey. It was a Gar. It was a Garnet jersey, number five. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you can see that. No, there was a close up of him. There was a close up of him getting arrested. Later. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking he was that, just wearing a sure. basketball knew, jersey without like anything it underneath uniform. it, which I always thought is a, just a weird move. Yeah, yeah he was just to wear the jersey. I, I just did he not hear the last three to four days of dialogue around the series and the city and. All that stuff. It's just like ambivalence. Like I, I can't even fathom it. Yeah, that's another point for Kyrie. I hate to say it, guys. I mean, this is exactly what he was talking about. And you know, after we were game, all worried this was gonna happen. Game, it was like, will Boston will someone in Boston double down on this just because of the put like give and take there and the conversation around it and just like, oh, we're gonna come down even harder on him. Game three was great. And I think Kyrie even said after the game, like not like credit to the fans, but like we kept to the basketball, it was all good. And now it's back to square one, which I guess he was right. Hi guys, Cedric Maxwell here. I want to take a minute to tell you about Marigol Medical. I'm used to keeping my body in great shape, but with arthritis, even the most simple everyday tasks became unbearable. As soon as I called Marigol Medical, I knew I was in good hands. No drugs, no surgery, just an experienced team of caring professionals that wanted to get me back to doing the things I love. Make the call to Marigold Medical and get back to pain-free life.